We're Kels, that's what she said, and Jay. And after converting and living in a school bus, we found ourselves ready to downsize and take on van life. We have a goal of completing our build in 30 days, and after just two weeks, I'd say we've made some pretty good progress. We knew there'd be certain limitations with downsizing. But obviously in a van, there's no way you can have 100 gallons. But we're still determined to make one of the nicest showers you've ever seen in a van. Because whoever said van life can't still be somewhat luxurious. So you're gonna stand and poop? Oh my god. I have to. <laughs> I left you guys off when I was going to Home Depot and going to pick out something. It, it was going to be tile for the shower. We're actually going to tile one part of the shower. We didn't find any tile that we loved at Home Depot and we didn't want to rush into it, even though we are trying to get this van conversion done in one month. We ordered some tile online, but in the meantime, we're going to red guard or waterproof the shower. It's a pretty simple process. We did it with the bus and never had any leaks. So we're pretty confident that it will work again. Before red guarding the shower, we decided to build a niche for it. It'll be a little cubby or storage area for our shampoos, something we didn't have for the bus. All right, so we're gonna build a niche, a niche. We had a problem because right in the center, pretty much of the shower, there's like a cross member for the van itself. So we couldn't put the niche center of the shower, which we kind of would have liked. But we've moved it to the left side and we're going for like a vertical niche. So it'll look proportional. I marked it, now we're gonna cut it out, build a box, put the box in. I'm really good at building boxes, Jeff. Oh, you did. Whoops, good job I've not wired up the bus yet. Yeah. Nice. So you always leave extra slack. Now you have the box. Now we build a back for the box. There's the niche! See if it fits! Uh -oh. I think that's a little bit too tight. I think in a good height wise, it needs a sliver off something. It's not cut any wires this time. Fits? Nice. Now I'll make some support go on the inside. So I just put two screws where I know it's gonna be. Then you free up your hands, shove this guy in there, get it flush with this outside edge. Screw that in, screw that in. So now I can put my box in. We want to make sure that it's flush with the edge. So when we do eventually tile, we can just tile right over there and turn the corner. So then I can screw this in to the two by like that. It's only off by a quarter, right? Not even a quarter, that's like a tenth. To me, that's a lot. So, Put a screw in, and then you can pull it back out again. Wow. Then also you'll notice, I'm not sure if you have to see it on camera, but this bottom shelf, I put a five degree angle on it so that it actually sits, so it's not flat. It's actually got a little bit of a tilt to it. And that's so when water gets in, the water will come off the shelf. Um, if it doesn't come off from us driving all around the country. <laughs> yeah, there's that. got yourself a niche. So realistically, we don't really need to red guard this, but it's like 50 bucks to do it. And it's just the more of a professional finish. Here at Kels and J Custom Builds. Oh, I like that. We tape up all the seams, any inside corners, any butt joints, but we don't have any butt joints butt. on this. <laughs> and then just red guard it. Here's the time lapse. The next day, we were ready to apply the laminate waterproof panels to the shower. We used contact cement. With warnings like this, you know this stuff is the real deal. Time to build our shower. We applied it to the red guard and the panels, waited 10 minutes for it to settle, <coughs> then applied it to the board. It's important to get it right the first time when putting it on because once it's on there, there's no readjusting it. That's something we learned the hard way. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck it, 
going on? Come on. That's what corn is for. That was solid. Well, as soon as this fucking thing touches, you don't want it to touch one. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You figured out a way? Yeah. I just went into the van and I drilled a hole. So we're going back now. As some of you guys may remember, with Bessie, we had 100 gallons of water. We were spoiled, but obviously in a van, there's no way you can have 100 gallons. So we just have, is it 40 gallons? 30? 30. 30 gallons. And we've been talking about doing a recirculating shower. Weren't sure if we'd be able to make it work. I knew Jay would find a way. He always does. The tiles we ordered finally came in and we are excited to add them. So what I've done here is I've marked the middle of the tile. And it's gonna go on the center line. You wanna basically be like how to get like that. This this far away from it. Hold it. Then you wanna measure here. But again you want a gap here. You don't want it like that. You want it flat, push against that way so it stays straight. Yeah. Nice. Snap on. So now you want to put the cut side against the wall. We applied silicone to the tiles, then pressed them on really good. Wiggle it around, down. You think I can fight. The sun's down, you must hurry. It's all the gun. Don't want to miss a chance to make it all right. It's looking good though, the niche. So for these little itty bitty pieces, we needed to get a special tool that we didn't have. Of course, Jay was excited because he loves when we have to get new tools. So it's just a piece that attaches to his angle grinder. Time for the shower. And the hands are clean today, so just We finished up putting the last pieces of tile in. Kelsey's now cleaning it all, making it a little pretty. I think it's turning out really good. I love this tile, I'm in love with it. It's not even grounded yet. And with that, that concludes day 14 of the build. See you tomorrow. Morning! So today is day 15, which marks exactly halfway through the 30 day projected build. First order of business is clean off this tile, all the excess silicone, and then grout it. I don't know if we mentioned this, but we opted for the silicone this time instead of the normal tile mortar. Just because we've seen it done by so many people, so like we figured it works. Why waste all that time putting up cement board, which is extra weight, having to mix mortar, and I mean, mortar's not light in itself. And the silicone application was super simple. But with that, I think it's a little bit harder to clean. Here we go. Well, I guess first I've got to remove all the spaces. All right, I'll see you in a minute when I've took all these out. All right, she is scraped clean. So the grout we're going for this time is the one in top. So we've gone with natural gray as the color. Alright, just like that, shower is grouted. I gotta say, did not like working with this stuff. So normally with like normal grout that you mix yourself, you just wipe off with water and it's super easy to work with. This stuff you have to wipe off with like mineral spirits and it's super thick. It just took forever. If I was to do it again, I'd just do it the way I normally do it. All in all, it wasn't too bad. It took like an hour and, hour and a bit to get this grouted. Now for the, the satisfying part, ready? Ooh, look at that. Oh, pretty good. The next day we realized we kind of hated the white. It looks nice, but it's just not practical for a van because it'll get dirty really fast. When you're converting a vehicle, you sort of have to go into it knowing you'll make mistakes along the way. It's inevitable and you can't be afraid of that. As 
happy as we are with how our wet room and shower turned out, we're also learning there are certain sacrifices we're going to have to make with the van that we didn't have to make with the bus. So I just come to the realization, this is about my 10 p.m. thought, <laughs> follow me to the bathroom. I'm literally not gonna fit in our bathroom in the, bar, in the van. <laughs> So, from where I am there, to the end of my knee is 32 inches to my knee and the bathroom itself is 32 inches wall to wall. And bear in mind, like my back's not going to be against the wall when I'm going for a poop because you've got the toilet seat and the shower valve. So my knees are literally going to be touching the wall in front of me. And then, the thing's only 24 inches wide. It's going to be like I'm sitting in an airplane seat going for a poop. This will just have to go in the benefits of bus life video and why bus life is better for some reasons because you have more room, especially if you're six foot four. Can I measure myself? Oh, I'm good. I'm golden. Look at that. You got room. You got oh, room shit. to win. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stand here and go for a piss. Well, dude, you're not supposed to stand anyways. Have to be like this. You're supposed to sit anyways when you pee. I can't sit. So you're going to stand and poo? I'm going to have to. <laughs> but hey, figuring it out as we go is all part of the fun. That's what cork is for. Cork? Cork? Cock? How do you say it again? Corkin? Cork. I think that's a little bit too tight. tight. That's what she said. She needs a slither off. <laughs> I think that's a good size. That's what she said. That's okay though, right? Because it's like extra long anyways. That's what she said. Sorry, I need to stop with those jokes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Pippa got a new food tray. Ask no one ever. Look at this. It's so cute. Da 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 da. I don't know why I'm dancing with the dancing with the jug losing my mind a little bit. Let me see your safety glasses. <laughs>